Hey everybody, it's Richard at RM Auto Diag, and today we're going to have another look at some uh, diesel injectors, but this time we're going to get it hooked up with um, a voltage measurement and an amps measurement, and we're going to be using the the, uh, the Pico setup, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so first things first, we've obviously got the uh, the Pico software up here, uh, channel A. We've got an attenuator in because we're expecting some higher voltages than the input um, and then we could just got a standard um, lead on that and then on channel B we've got the low amps clamp um, I've set it on 60 amps but 20 is probably quite enough um, so I've got the uh, the clamp around one of the wires just for ease and back probed into the other wire of the injector there just so we can uh, see what the um, what the computer's asking the injector to do. So what I'll do is I'll start the car up and uh, we'll come around and probably do a screen share and we'll see what it looks like. Right, okay, so we're running. It's a bit loud, I'm afraid. As you can see, we've got something on the screen now, so I'll get a screen recording and um, we'll just do some voice over the top of it. Okay, so uh, we're looking at the injectors now. Um, any keen-eyed viewers might notice that this is the same focus from a few other videos. Um, it will be going to the scrapyard in the sky soon, so we'll we'll get a few videos out of it before it goes to its impending doom. So this top of the waveform here is... Um, our voltage measurement in the blue on channel A and um, you can see there's three firing events and the bottom of the waveform down the bottom is the red one on channel B which is our current and you'll notice on the current that we have a, a spike up and down what I have noticed is I put my amps clamp on the wrong way around so that should be flipped up the other way with the spiking current going up first and down second sorry about that um, but you can get the idea. Piezo injectors, um, when they're actuated, they have an opening and a closing, or energising and de-energising, and that's what you're seeing in that current. Um, and you also notice that some of them are slightly further apart, because you've got um, pre-injections and main injection there. Um, sometimes you can only have two um, injection events. On here at the moment there's three. It all depends on how the car is driving at the time. Um, now what you will notice on here is with this opening and closing is that's why you're told not to disconnect injectors when they're running especially with piezo injectors because if it's stuck in that position then it can hold the injector open and that would not be good because you're just going to be uh, firing fuel straight into the cylinder now um, piezo injectors how they work inside is there's a stack of piezo crystals and when they're energized they expand and what that does is it opens a small chamber inside the injector which causes a pressure difference in the uh, the diesel that's flowing into the injector which allows it to open and then when it's de-energized that chamber changes size again and it allows the uh, the main fuel pressure to close the needle as well um, so that's basically how they work um, but what we can see here is we've got three firing events we can see that we've got current there so we're happy that that's all working we can see that we've got a command from the ECU which is the top so we're happy that that's working and uh, we've got no known faults with this car with these injectors so um, yeah this is just a quick run through on what piezoelectric patterns look like in injectors so hopefully you found this uh, this informative and uh, if you ever go to check uh, some some injectors yourself you've got a, an idea of what you're going to be looking at cheers see you on the next one